Hey, happy Tuesday. So, uh, I wear too many hats, and today I'm wearing this still lawn boy hat. And I've got to figure out why this thing, after sitting for a day or two, totally fills its piston, its cylinder, with fuel. And then hydro locks, it won't turn over, it won't start. Uh, so you got to take the plug out, and like two cups of gas come out. It's a lot of fuel. And it's spitting out the exhaust port. Um, so we're going to start by replacing the carburetor. We got ourselves here a genuine steel carburetor off eBay for 40 bucks. And we're going to figure out how it goes in here. So this orange cover has to come off first. And I think I see a T30 and a T30 and a third T30. And that's it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the cover comes off with uh, T25s. Three T25s. And then you remove the outer air box housing and filter with the screw. Inspect the filter. <laughs> God. I do car DIYs now. I'm doing a carburetor on a on a BG86. I think that's the model. Uh huh. And then you take off the lower engine air filter box with two eight millimeter nuts. And then there's a profile gasket. So let's take that out of here. Did not come with one of those, so we're reusing it. Come on. Stuck around the stud. And. There's the side of the carb, so now we've got to figure out what holds it on the other side. Nothing. It slides off. We've got to disconnect the... Is that the throttle cable? Yep, we've got to take the throttle cable off, which doesn't look like it's going to pose too much of a fight. Okay, it's in. It was very hard to start. I think the plug had been fouled, but now it's running. Well, now it's not running, but it will run if I want it to. Perhaps I will show you. Alright guys, we're at the shop now. Uh, these wheels came back yesterday for Sean's 01. Professionally refinished in authentic chrome shadow. They look really good. I'm impressed with, uh, with how they turned out. So they're a, a touch darker than mine. I've always had a, a light finish on these 65s. You know, I got them from ECS tuning back four or five years ago. Five or six years ago, probably now. Um, and there's no two that are alike since they're all hand done, but um, they look really nice. This one up here is a little bit dirty. It looks like it got splashed with some water, uh, but the finish is top. So the only thing we're missing are these. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up Tuesday. So uh, it was a shop day. I did do some work from home this morning, as you saw with the blower, just random crap around the house. Then I headed up there. I had to ship out three packages. I sold another Mark IV uh, DVD. So that's on its way to Texas or Tennessee, one of those, Knoxville. It's actually going to Knoxville. And then I finally sold the trim from Bravo Zulu 996310, uh, which was the Briarwood Club in the titanium car that we flipped over this past winter. Uh, so the deal was that was a, a full leather Silverstone car, and it came with the Briarwood Club wood trim, which I thought was a bizarre pairing. So I picked up a set of the Titan trim online, shelved the Briarwood Club. Definitely thought I would sell it in less than six months, but not the case. Um, and I ended up selling it for about the same price that I sold the Titan line for, which is nice. It just took a couple months to recoup. So that's on its way out right now. The full set, all four door panel pieces, three dashboard finishers, center console, shift knob, and emergency brake handle, all on its way to Texas uh, to a repeat customer. So uh, that happened today. Alex picked up a power steering box or a, uh, a steering gearbox without the servo from BZ97882. Kenan makes fun of me for knowing these VINs. That's just how I how I document and keep track of what sells from what car versus what our return on investment on the car is and when it came back and just all the metrics of that. So uh, that was today. I did some FaceTime this afternoon. I wrote invoices and printed spreadsheets and just technical nitty gritty stuff. And then finally came home. Um, Kenan and I went shopping we made dinner uh, no, we didn't. We went to In-N-Out for dinner and brought it back and wolfed that down. And he worked, and I watched two documentaries, not documentaries, two, um, I felt like I was back in college, honestly, two lectures on plate tectonics and sea level rising from San Diego's own, San Diego State's own Pat Abbott. I don't know why I'm so interested in that. I, I just am. So I listened to that, and now I'm going to bed. So I'll talk to you guys on Hump Day Wednesday, tomorrow, the 24th of June. Good night.